Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. Omoyele Shore, former Nigerian presidential candidate of AAC, said he will apologize to Biafrans immediately he is voted in as president of Nigeria. Contrary to the opinion of the Biafrans of majorly IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, they do not want Nigeria. They want a nation of their own. Omele Shore, in one of COVID-19 and political talks he had recently, promised to apologize to Biafrans once he emerged president of Nigeria. Omele Shore, who was asked to react to the continued rage and agitations for the vision of Nigeria, said he won't support the vision of Nigeria. According to the convener of Revolution Now, Take It Back Movements and founder of ASC, what Nigeria needs now is not the vision. You cannot eat a child and expect it expect the child not to cry, even when it does not. Do not think he is not aware of this. He said that VR France has for long been marginalized after it suffered in what looked like genocide but called Nigerian civil war that led to massacre of three millions of Biafras, both men and women and children. Omoyele opinated that egos are hurt and still grieve on rate of hate and marginality they have suffered so far as a people in Nigeria, which was the very reason why they, the Igbo ethnic group called such as IPOB, led by Mazen Ambekanu, seek for a break. The human rights activists and social rights campaigner asserted that he is against the separation of Nigeria and added that in as much as he wants a one an indivisible Nigeria, he wouldn't want a united Nigeria that is gotten through abs, oppression, repression, and forced unity, where no justice after killing three million Yugos. As pres president, first thing I would do is to apologize to Pierre France. This he wrote on the Twitter handle Revolution Now. Also, there is a speech accredited to Obayele Shore where he was quoted to have made the same statement. This is said to have been dated 2018. And in this statement, he says, What I will do to Igos if I become president? And this is he said written to Sahara reporters. Obayele Shore, publisher of Sahara Reporters and presidential hopeful, has disclosed that he will do to Igbos of the Southeast should he become leader of the country in the forthcoming general election. I think that was prior to the election that brought in or selected in Major General Muhammad Obua, retired, popularly known as Jubrela Sudani by members of IPOB. The, he, he went on to say, but the Igbo man and the spirit has managed to build for them, for himself, the spirit that conquers the world. I will say to you that first and foremost, when I become president, I'm going to apologize to the Eagles on behalf of Nigeria. He said I missed applauses that greeted his response, but I would like others. Apology is not enough. There has to be a rapid economic development in Igbo land. What they Igbo man needs is a road upon which to transport their goods, transportation, airport, seaport that can bring their goods anywhere. And that is why I said, with due respect, I am not doing it. For Nigeria alone, I am doing it for Africa. So these are the words of Oboyele Shore back in those days and presently. These are the words that he has opinated. Now, there are several reactions as regards this. First, if there is a meeting in Ghana, Aburi, where they all talked after they must have killed themselves, they attacked themselves and they did a lot to themselves. And they had a decision. We were a nation of our own. Unfortunately, the other party had some other, you know, things that they had inside of them. And that is what they worked with. And when the Biafras realized that they weren't going to be left alone, allowed to have their own nation, they went on to create that environment of anarchy that resulted into war. And you know what happened? A lot of unnecessary things happened. They weren't supposed to be dead. It's supposed to have been discussions. 
there was a need for war but then you know what was then they had the military government then too so military do not discuss they fight war and that is exactly what they did they ended up fighting and you know what it is so some reactions out there someone say apology or dot we don't need you rather we are tired of one nigeria we need division end of story uh some say it is difficult to erase from the mind the level of hatred that some of them have for biafra so what we need is freedom we need to be free a lot of comments here and there it seems people are not interested in apology at the moment yes i think seriously nigeria should apologize and start restructuring to build a great a great nation this particular setup can never produce anything meaningful forever and i would say all papers okay all all right i think this person is just not also accepting that please we want to go so we can build seaport and international airport in biafra land we do not need that's what they say nigeria to build any international airport we don't need any of this so that when their people come from abroad, they will land directly in their own country, not in Lagos or Abuja again. That's what they said. Many reactions and comments. Another person would say, we Igbos don't need apology. We only need one thing. That is Biafra. Nigeria is evil. It's an evil contraption created with selfish interest by Britain and Northerners. Nigeria would never be good or great, whatever you choose to call it. If you like, make Jesus Christ of Nazareth the president of this zoo called Nigeria to remain the same way today. I think that's an overreach, using Jesus Christ as the president. But then, God is not interested in fraud. And I also say it's a wound that can never be give, that can never be given the opportunity to ill night as turned to cancerous. It's unfortunate. Sincerely speaking, majority of the people of Nigeria, or most people, don't like the vision of Nigeria, but the not will not but the not to be frank behave as though whatever they say they wish and desire is what must be in nigeria and nothing else can contradict them and whatever they disagree with will not take place that's master and slave relationship which is not supposed to be but it should be coordinate it should be a a coordinated system with all the states or the six geopolitical zones being in charge or having an opportunity to coordinate power um, either through the federal government or through a decentralized government or whatever ways that they want to come up with with the structure that it that they have at the moment they they are bringing very little to the economy bringing you no know, there's no equity that's just it no equity so i don't know what you guys think about um what my issue where i said here um, I believe that uh, aside Omoye Lishoware talking about corruption and some other issues and Mazen Abdekanu preaching tirelessly about a break from Nigeria, but I think both of them, um, they have a message. They have a message. They might not speak the same language. They might not speak the same, you know, words. They have their own message. And, well, I believe that a break is also necessary. But aside the break, the issue of corruption is also something that needs to be looked into. If not, you, own, you are only going to have a smaller version of the same bigger Nigeria that you have today. The problem of Nigeria is not only the North. It is basically the group of people that are part of that nation. These are the group of people that make up the Nigeria Either you are a Biafran, if you are living in that contraption, you are doing business there and you are doing some other activities there. Every action you take, particularly some group of people that support um, certain people to be elected here and there, do not forget that you're also part of the system too. So if you are going to have a new nation, you, you, you really need to work on your inside as a person. It's very important. Now, someone says, Shore, thank you for your concern, but it had been... The three hours promised by Modros Yakubu Gowon after the civil war was implemented, this British amalgamated contraption would have been competing with the rest of the developed world. Therefore, apology after 50 years is too late, not acceptable. We have passed that stage. We are in Biafra restoration stage. Now, we do not need apology from Nigeria, British, or their allies. We don't need any of this anymore. So I think that's just what it is. It is not workable, and um, it just has to go. That's what it is. Um, someone say to me, it's not the Igbos that don't want Nigeria, but those who don't want others to have say about what we hold together. That is it. When you don't want others to have a say, that's what I want to say. There. Showere, we don't need apologies. We need Biafra help. 
tell other Yorubas and Yoruba Fulani, Yoruba colonies and other Fulani people. So that's it. A lot of people want to break and nothing more. They are not interested in restructuring. You cannot restructure something that has no foundation, something that is not in order um, as it is right now. Another person say to keep begging it, but indirectly not to go. Have a marriage is never by force. Allow that because everything happens for a reason and civil war was meant to happen. Allow them to go simple. For me, I do not think that the deaths, uh, the people that died, it wasn't necessary at all. Uh, but unfortunately, it was during the period of military, the military era. And like I said, initially, militaries do not dialogue. They don't sit down to begin to talk this and that. They act. And that's what it is. So do you buy into what Shawara is saying or you want a total break? Although somehow from 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 the tweet of Shawara, he is a little bit on the side of break. And he said, the unity of Nigeria can be based on arms, oppression, repression, and forced unity. That's it. Simply put, if it continues that way, split is paramount. That's just it. Split is paramount. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.